The new television series The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window is currently number one on Netflix, and fans want to know if a second season is going to happen. The showrunners, Rachel Romraz, Larry Dorff, and Hugh Davidson, are opening up about that big cliffhanger at the end of the season and whether a second season will happen. Click inside for spoilers and to check out the season 2 chatter. In the final episode, Kristen Bell's character Anna takes a plane to New York after surviving a terrifying attack, where she finds herself seated next to a businesswoman played by Glenn Close. During the show's final scene, Anna dozes off on the plane and finds Glenn's character has disappeared once she wakes up. She then goes to the bathroom and finds Glenn dead. But when she lets a flight attendant know, Glenn isn't in the bathroom anymore and the flight attendant says no one was ever seated next to her. Anna then finds Glenn's compact mirror, leaving the show on a cliffhanger. So, will a second season happen? Basically, the show was envisioned as a limited series and they wanted to end it on a cliffhanger without giving fans. The satisfaction of knowing more so a second season doesn't like it's definitely going to happen. Rachel told Collider, it is a limited series, and, in its conception, that's how it ended. Part of the fun of the ending is that thrilling cliffhanger. It reminds me how, at the end of Gone Girl, she walks into the house, and you're like, my god, what is their life about to become? But you don't see it. That doesn't mean there couldn't be another one, but it is of the genre to go out with a heart-pounding bang. The showrunners were asked if they know what would happen next. Larry said, we do. We wanted everything to be grounded, so when we wrote that scene on the plane with Glenn Close, we did want that to make sense. So, as part of that process, pages do exist of what happens when that plane lands. We do have an idea. Hey race what they had to say about that amazing cameo.